Okay. Good morning here, YouTube. Um, I'm starting making my videos again. The name of my channel was Ad Atkins Fabrication and then some. Our objective here is to learn, fabricate, um, not turn perfectly good stock into scrap metal. My name is Peter Atkins. And here we can learn together. I have a small background in machining and fell in love with it through watching guys like this old Tony, Keith Fenner, Keith Rucker, A Bomb 79, um, Robin Renzetti, um, Ox Tools. So, what I did was I got this South Bend lathe that you see here. Uh, it's a nice lathe. Beautiful. Um, I'm working on restoring it now. I've got a new tool post. I can't find a back plate for it with the 12 TPI thread count that it has. Uh, this thing has been giving me a real hard time. Uh, I've asked... <laughs> I asked somebody on YouTube about where I could go about getting a uh, backplate made and stuff like that. And he tells me to go to a machine shop. <laughs> um, I just wanted some tips on how to make one. I, you know, I didn't want a free dag on uh, what you call, man. But, you know, I've come to realize people are going to just be people, dude. And you got to be... You gotta bend to it, you know. So here's my 12 TPI thread gauge. 12 count, 12 TPI, perfect fit, right? Um, I also can get 11 in here and 11 and a half as well, but it's a 12 TPI thread count. Now all I find on eBay is 8 TPI. Okay, um, it's an inch and a quarter round. Uh, I have a two thou run out in this head, this um, collet chuck. This is an ER32 collet chuck with a Morris Taper 3 adapter uh, into the spindle head. Um, I have play in my spindle head. It looks like wear, wear and tear in my um, in my uh, headstock here. My my bearings that were poured in the headstock here. Uh, I I have to get me a a belt that is the proper size in order to be able to fabricate this counter pulley onto the back of my lathe. It didn't come with anything. I'm I'm, I'm working on this. I'm, I'm I'm trying my hardest here. I mean this this is a little outside my my comfortability realm but we're gonna get it done regardless. Time for a paradox shift. So, not only that, but I just moved here. My old shop was out at my old house. I had a nice size shed, and uh, now I've downsized. So, what, what what I'm working with now is this is my basement. This was the laundry room. We just moved in here. This is my welding area. These are my tools. I'm a certified. I'm a certified apprentice plumber. I uh, work for a company called Mitchell uh, Plumbing and Heating. Um, so I'm learning. But in the process, I'd like to make some YouTube videos and learn some more things from maybe the community. Maybe I can, you know, uh, get to know the machinist community and the fabricating community like Jason from... Fireball Tools, I've talked to him before. Hell of a guy, really good guy. 
Uh, so here's my um, machinist box. This was given to me by my old boss. It was his dad's. He used to work for Martin Marietta. I left his name tag on there, Edgar F. Knight. So, yeah, I, uh, I mean, I, I have a few things here that, um, I am, uh, working on, you know, and, and not just working on, but, you know, building. I mean, I'm trying here, so, my, my bench and stuff like that, and come over here, and my, uh, my surface gauge and all that, and, actually getting ready to center this up so this is just a short overview of my shop and what it looks like and here's under the steps uh, that's where I keep all my parts and things like that yeah so. and on the next video we will be fabricating. We'll be throwing sparks with the welder. We're going to have to weld some stuff together. Uh, get this thing going, man. I'm ready to get this thing running here. I got a couple motors that I'd like to try to, to adapt to this. Um, there's my, well, my press, my shop press. I made that myself. It's the first welding job I did. I had a guy on Facebook get in touch with me and told me, you, you know that thing can be dangerous, man. Look at the material you're making it with. And I told him, First of all, I'm just making it to, you know, pop little bearings and stuff like that. I'm not doing it to do car struts and all that, but uh, the fella insisted. So uh, I let my neighbor knock a ball joint out of a, uh, out of a front tire, uh, the front right side of a car. Uh, and he pressed it out with that. And as you see, the only thing bent is the table right there. Just that table. See that right there, how it's bent? Yeah. But none of those wells anywhere are broken. And all that's made with is channel. It, they put it up in the ceiling in all the Royal Farm stores and hang the uh, ductwork from it. Air compressor. We make it happen, man. We do it. That's where I keep my, st my stock, some of it. You know, this is it, man. We do this. This is the shot. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome to Atkins Fabrication. If you tune in here, you're tuning in to learn. Each one teach one here at this channel. Please comment and give me ideas and you know, let me think, know things that I'm not doing right. Please help me to grow myself. Help me to become a better maker, a better creator. Um, help me make better YouTube videos. Let me know the content that you would like to see from me. Um, everything. Just give me ideas, man. Spark this. You know, we can start a revolution here with this. I'd like to eventually build a 2x72 grinder. Uh, you know, I want to start putting projects after project on here. Um, thanks, man. And God bless all of you and your families. And I hope to hear, hear from you. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great Halloween.